Yeah, I thought it was interesting that you went around the trees first. <gasps> Ground damage! Hi, I'm Kaisa. I stream variety games on Twitch. I'm also an actor and host, and one of the games I love to play is Lawn Mowing Simulator. Hi, my name is Gage Knudsen, manager of Turf and Grounds for the Los Angeles Football Club. Most people think it's just mowing the grass, watering the grass, kind of these basic things. And um, those are extremely important things to get the grass cut every day. But there's a lot of science that goes behind my job that most people don't think or value. Um, it's a lot of chemistry, a lot of science. Uh, you're dealing with microbes and funguses and kind of all these lower level kind of micro things. So to have an understanding of how a different element is gonna impact your grass is a huge difference. So you have to understand the basics at least to, to give yourself a fighting chance to, to be successful in my industry. I did not expect to see any game that would uh, incorporate lawn mowing at all. To see a game that's kind of geared towards people like me that are in my industry uh, was kind of cool. What initially drew me to Lawn Mowing Simulator was that it was so ridiculous sounding at first and all my friends were like, what, like that's even a game? And it looked so relaxing and so chill that I thought I had to give it a try. Here we are, about to play the game. I'm so psyched to play and see what you have to say about my gameplay and how realistic it actually is. I'm excited to kind of see the, the nuances that, that could translate, like what kind of mowers there are, could you adjust how to cut, kind of all these nuanced things that we do on a daily basis to see if the game kind of incorporates the same checklist of, of things that we do. All right, let's jump right in. We have a cut requirement of 99.5%, cut height of seven to eight centimeters, um, and there's a ground check at the beginning, which hey. I don't know if you usually do, but I pick up a lot of garden gnomes here. Hey, we don't have the garden gnomes as much, but every once in a while you might find some garden shears. So is it pretty standard to do just like a check of everything? It first? is. That's kind of the first step of, of your day is wow. you have to do a site walk to make sure maybe something got left over, maybe a, a bolt fell off your mower, Okay, I'm looking for the last object here. Is it terrible if you miss any objects? Oh, Will that mess yeah, up yeah, it could, uh, could affect your blades. I mean, from a, from a professional standpoint, it costs money. Where have we been? Maybe over to oh. the right. Oh, hey. Nice. Are we ready to work? We're ready to rumble. Oh, let me change the cut height first. Ooh, it's got... That's a, that's a first step. I usually start from the outside in. Interesting. I, is that not the play? Hey, everyone has their own uh, their own style of doing things. We do things a little different. So I typically mow the inside of my, my game field first, and then I work my way out to the perimeter, just from aesthetics, just from tire marks. So when I'm mowing, you'll see your tires kind of turn on the field. And from an aesthetics standpoint, it's not the most desirable to see tire marks kind of in your grass. You always want to have it look as pristine as possible. Nice and slow, it seems. Nice, so this is kind of your pace you like to go. I, well, if I pull the trigger all the way down, then I go too fast and it overheats ah. and then stalls. Um, my technique is to have like 80% pressure on the trigger. And if I take my eyes off the screen, I will mess up. So this game is definitely <laughs> kind <Pretty> of... Realistic. <laughs> <laughs> is that realistic too? Yeah. Like, off, if I take my eyes off for one second, it'll mess up. Yeah, you, the mower moves, so it can move left or right. It's uh, it's not as easy as it, it seems to to put down a straight line. It's just as challenging. You mentioned there's like a lot of science that goes into maintaining a field. Yep. Could you explain that a little more? Yeah. So people might think that my job kind of is just riding a mower all day. So that's just one small component of, of what the job actually entails. It's a lot of science, a lot of chemistry. Uh, we're dealing with soils, so you have to understand what your soil makeup is. Understanding the, the basics of, of, of what each element does for, for plant health is, is important. Do you find mowing lawns relaxing? I was feeling pretty zen until I missed this corner right here. <laughs> Do you ever miss anything? I mean, you're a pro. Does of course, we call those mohawks. That was a pretty mohawk. big one. It was a lot smaller than, it's a little bit bigger than what I would have uh, <laughs> liked to see, but hey, everyone misses some pieces sometimes. And it's, uh, for us, we would just get that mohawk the next day instead of having to add extra compaction to the field to have to get that extra mohawk. 
Hey, there's a string trimmer. So I wanted to just drop it down so I could get the trimmer and ask you some questions about it. So you said you wouldn't get those mohawks and strays, yeah. but in this game, you're kind of supposed to. Yeah. What, what are your thoughts on that? Is that weird? No, that's that's great. Great uh, addition to the game. Even great to have this weed eater in there. That's uh, an added feature I did not expect to see. Okay, so now I'm gonna hand it off to you to see how you handle a lawn. <laughs> oh. All right, let's do it. For us, it's extremely important to do these site walks to, to check for any irregularities with the field because we could have multi-million dollar players out on the field at all times. So, I mean, if a player steps in a hole or anything like that, uh, twist an ankle, uh, naturally everyone looks at the, the ground staff of, of what happened oh, here. No. Yeah. It's a huge responsibility that you didn't expect to have to, to, to wow. <laughs> have on your shoulders. All right, let's try this mowing action. So um, I'm giving the, the game a, a full once over. Let's check out all the features to see kind of the, the real life kind of warning signs that you would expect to see, like sharp corners. Um, is there any missed areas? Kind of these all nuances that the game has thrown into it. Yeah, I thought it was interesting that you went around the trees first. <gasps> ground damage! Penalty! You damaged the ground! Hey, that's another really cool feature. Wait, Who what knows? did you do? Did you turn too hard? I think hard? I turned too sharp. That is definitely a real life thing. Typically, we, we try not to make sharp turns exactly what I'm, I shouldn't be doing in the like game. That. Yeah, yeah, exactly like those, because it's gonna tear up the grass, which is gonna cause it to, to be delayed and recovery could potentially kill the grass out, outright. Pretty cool. <laughs> I'm surprised that the game is that accurate, because when I'm playing it, I'm like, oh, this is so cool, but I'm sure it's like, I'm sure there are things that are like way more complicated than this, but for you to say that this is kind of the gist of what mowing a lawn is like is yeah, pretty wild. it's very, very similar. I find it super interesting how it's not just making the lawn look nice, it's also like a liability for like whoever is on the lawn and you also have to protect the grass too and you don't want the grass to get diseased either. So I feel like you're not just, you know, like making it look like nice and pretty, you're actually like, it's a big responsibility. It's a huge responsibility. I feel like you're very bold in your approach and your freestyle approach. I think since I'm playing the game as someone who doesn't really know anything about lawn care, I was kind of going above and beyond to be like, I'm trying to make everything totally perfect, but you're like, this is my domain. Like, yeah. I've got it, it's fine. Um, so I feel like I could be a little, I, I feel like I could be a little bolder with my mows going forward. So we're trying out a free mow where there are no rules pretty much. We can do whatever cut height, we can cut as much or as little of the grass as we want and just kind of have some fun and try out some cool patterns. All right, let's spice it up. Let's try to do a little challenge here. Let's see who can mow a nice straight square. Ooh. It must be hard to do a perfect square in real life because you were saying how the mower kind of kicks back and forth, It is. Right? So the mower kicks back and forth just from the leaf blades being laid down. When I talked about how the leaf blade is laying from the lighter dark stripe, when I'm mowing across those, you can actually feel the mower kicking left or right, oh, depending wow. on that mowing stripe. Ah, oh, man, this is a, a lot <laughs> more challenging. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not a very good square. It's more of like a, a rounded square, it looks like. It's abstract. Yeah, hey, it's all for interpretation of what you think a square is. Maybe you squint your eyes a little bit, it's a square. <laughs> close one eye, close both eyes, and it's a square. Yeah, so, oh, man, like I said, the challenge. So in order to make this turn, let's try to do a straight, proper turn. Pick our blades up, we'll put it back down. Go to our tree, pick our blade up. Kind of make a nice five point turn if need be. Oh, nice. Here's my square, it's, it's not as a square as, I was, as I would like it to be. It's a little bit of a rectangle, but Let's see what you got. Oh no. Let's see if the, the, the pro can outshow me. I thought you were gonna cut it in half and be like, oh look, I made two perfect <laughs> squares hey. at one. Oh, I can't see how far I'm gonna go. Let me disengage my blades and have a, oh no, this is already a big angle on this. Oh. It kind of is nice to see that it's not as straight. The game doesn't automatically put you in a straight line. It, how you kind of move, the, the little bit of thumb movements causes the mower to, to shift in one direction. On a, on a sports field, typically our, our mow lines are 
we're mowing the same pattern over and over again. So for us, it's a little bit easier once the pattern is essentially established to, to continue to mow that same line over and over again. For like this instance, where we're trying to put in a, a pattern into the field with no string lines, no kind of extra to help, you're just essentially looking at it and trying to go as straight as you can. It's a challenge. In real life, it's the same way. Uh, this is my square. It's okay, but it's a little bit like trapezoidy. Uh, I think she did a, a solid B plus. It's pretty good. I'll take it. It's pretty straight, pretty straight lines. Uh, if you ever need a job in real life, you can. <laughs> You're always more than welcome to come out. That's, uh, we can work with that. We can straighten those lines out and, and put you to work on a real mower any day. <laughs> For your square, I'll give you an A minus oh. because it was a rectangle, but you did have nice straight lines and angles. Oh. That was the most important part. So we just finished our free mow segment and I feel like it was really cool to just kind of, you know, have at it and see how hard it is to actually make patterns because when I'm just doing a normal contract, I'm just going around in straight lines, around in circles and circles forever versus actually trying to make a design and it's really difficult. It is, it was a lot more difficult than I expected as well. I thought it was gonna be pretty easy just mowing out, just kind of having some fun, but a little bit more challenging than I expected. My general impressions of the game were positive. I thought the game was very uh, in tune with what it is in real life to, to mow along. Uh, from a sense of getting familiar with equipment, getting familiar with things, I think it's an added benefit to, to, to use simulators to help people um, log hours and kind of things like that. But uh, my job is very much hands-on. You have to be out on site to, to look at these things and, and and feel them and touch them and, and be able to, to deal with, because at the end of the day, we're dealing with a, a living plant. So it's, every day is different for us. So it's a new challenge. As a gamer, you'd like to think that when you play a simulator, you can actually do it in real life. But even playing lawn mowing simulator, I don't think I could do a good job mowing an actual lawn. I feel like maybe I could do it, but it wouldn't look very nice. It was so fun playing lawn mowing simulator. Thanks so much for playing with me and for teaching me the ropes. No problem, I had a great time. I appreciate you showing me how to play. Yeah, I'll definitely be playing more of it. Yeah. Thanks so much everyone for watching us play lawn mowing simulator. Yeah!